the changes in the foreign policy of Uzbekistan under the new president Mirziyoyev. Compared to Karimov, Mirziyoyev established better interpersonal relations with world leaders and has been more active in foreign relations. Uzbekistan's relations with its neighbors improved significantly. Currently, Uzbekistan is making the primary efforts in the foreign policy direction in the field of building new transport infrastructure in the region, creating favorable conditions for the development of interstate trade and economic relations and projects, liberalizing the monetary and financial sphere in the international context, and ultimately transforming Uzbekistan into a regional transport and investment hub. However, in terms of foreign policy principles, not much has changed the course of non-alignment with any military political blocs, non-admission of the deployment of foreign military bases and facilities on its territory, and non-participation of the country's military personnel in peacekeeping operations abroad. The Activities of Kazakhstan in International Organizations Kazakhstan has been playing an active role in many international organizations. Kazakhstan initiated and was the chair between 2002 to 2010 of the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia, CICA, a multinational forum for enhancing cooperation towards promoting peace, security and stability in Asia. In 2010, Kazakhstan became a chairman of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE the largest regional structure embracing 56 countries of Europe, Central Asia, and North America. Kazakhstan was the first post-Soviet country to chair the organization. In 2011, Kazakhstan took over the Organization of Islamic Conferences Chairmanship, which was decided to rename into the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC. Kazakhstan was the only country from CA to be elected to the UN Security Council and was chair during 2017-2018. The reasons for the failure of regional cooperation among CA Local regionalism and integration efforts among CA were not successful because the leadership of CA could not agree on long-standing issues such as water, border, energy, and agriculture. Second, CA relations with each other were affected by the personalities of the leaders. Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan competed to be the leader of the region. The outside powers, mainly Russia, have tried to prevent any integration and regional alliances among CA. The reasons why CAS relied on Russia for security after their independence CAS relied on Russia for security after independence for several reasons. First, they did not have the expertise or resources to establish their defense system. Second, the ruling elites in these countries wanted Russia to help them stay in power. Third, there was still a significant Russian population in Kass, especially in Kazakhstan. Fourth, for democratizing countries, such as Kyrgyzstan, democratizing Russia seemed a formidable ally to protect against neighboring, more powerful, and autocratic states. Fifth, there were deep institutional continuities and enduring relations between Central Asian state security agencies and Russia's internal and external security services. There were three reasons for the Soviets to create the CA. First, they followed the modernization theory, a transition from a traditional society to a modern society made up of nations. Soviets considered Turkestan as a tribal society and created nations and corresponding states from existing tribal confederations. Second, they believed in the self-determination of the nations. All the nations would voluntarily join the Soviet Union. Third, they wanted to divide Turkestan. They considered both Pan-Turkism and Pan-Islamism as threats, which dividing Turkestan would limit. The International Relations of Modern Central Asia CA developed their own versions of foreign policies originating from their geopolitical situation, natural resources, economic needs, regime survival, and great power demands. Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan base their foreign policy engagement strategies mainly on their economic potential to get the best deal for hydrocarbon resources. However, Kazakhstan pursued a more active foreign policy by participating in many international organizations, Turkmenistan chose to follow a neutral policy, 
which meant not participating in any economic or security organizations. By contrast, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan have built their foreign policy strategies in the absence of economic potential, pursuing foreign aid to make up for significant resource shortages. These policies made Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan in danger of dependency on great powers, especially Russia and China. Economically self-sufficient Uzbekistan pursued a more elective foreign policy to protect domestic economic and security interests. The Dynamics of Great Power Relations with the Central Asian States After independence, Central Asian states attracted the interest of great powers due to holding mostly untapped natural resources, especially Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan. The competition started between Russia, China, the USA, Europe, and India to get concessions in the hydrocarbon sector, which geopolitical analysts call the new great game. In the beginning, Russia tried to hold on to political, economic advantages over the Central Asian states due to the Soviet legacy. The USA and Europe entered the market. China and India joined the game much later. While the USA's influence has decreased over the years, China increased its influence with Belt and Road Initiative, BRI. The backgrounds of international problems of Soviet legacy that the Central Asian states faced after independence. The CA faced several international problems that originated from the Soviet past after independence. First, the borders between states were not demarcated clearly during the Soviet era. Soviets made Kyrgyzstan Uzbekistan Tajikistan borders look like a jigsaw puzzle, and enclaves and exclaves were created to make border issues even more complicated. Many interstate border conflicts after independence originated from this era. Second, the haphazardly drawn borders did not reflect the ethnic groups living in these states, creating ethnic minority problems. Third, the Soviets created dependencies between countries in terms of energy, transportation, and agriculture. Fourth, the environmental issues were left as a legacy by the former Soviet Union. Modern Central Asian state formation is a Soviet creation. The main legacy of the Soviet Union in Central Asia was the creation of five national states in the region known as Turkestan. Soviets wanted to divide Turkestan. They considered both Pan-Turkism and Pan-Islamism as threats, which dividing Turkestan would limit. By creating five Soviet states in Turkestan, the Soviets defined the nationalities in these states. Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan. The haphazardly drawn borders did not reflect the ethnic groups living in these states. The nations, as we know in Central Asia, are also Soviet creations. This does not mean that the prototype of these ethnicities did not exist before Soviets. Under the Soviets, the local languages and cultures were systematized and codified, and their differences were demarcated and encouraged. In 1940 new Cyrillic writing systems were introduced to break links with Turkey and Iran. Kazakhstan possessed nuclear weapons when the Soviet Union collapsed. Kazakhstan has been the most active in the international arena. Turkmenistan has adopted a permanent neutrality. Central Asian countries don't host an American military base currently. Kyrgyzstan hosted both Russian and American military bases at the same time in the past. Turkmenistan has not ratified the charter and therefore is not formally a member of the CIS, the Commonwealth of Independent States. Kazakhstan is the founding member of the Eurasian Economic Union. Chinese New Silk Road project called Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, was first announced in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan has been playing an active role in many international organizations. Kazakhstan initiated and was the chair between 2002 to 2010 of the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia, CICA a multinational forum for enhancing cooperation towards promoting peace, security, and stability in Asia. The idea of creating CICA was first proposed by the first president of the Republic of Kazakhstan Nazarbayev on 5 October 1992 at the 47th General Assembly of the United Nations. The Commonwealth of Independent States, CIS, is a regional intergovernmental organization of nine, 
originally 10, members, plus two founding non-member, post-Soviet republics in Eurasia. It was formed following the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. The CIS encourages cooperation in economic, political and military affairs and has certain powers relating to the coordination of trade, finance, lawmaking, and security. It has also promoted cooperation on cross-border crime prevention. The CIS has its origins with the Russian Empire, which was replaced in 1917 by the Russian Republic after the February Revolution earlier that year. Following the October Revolution, the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic became the leading republic in the Soviet Union USSR, upon its creation with the 1922 Treaty and Declaration of the Creation of the USSR along with Belarusian SSR and Ukrainian SSR. When the USSR began to fall in 1991, the founding republics signed the Balavaza Accords on December 8, 1991, declaring that the Soviet Union would cease to exist and proclaimed the CIS in its place. A few days later the Alma-Ata Protocol was signed, which declared that the Soviet Union was dissolved and that the Russian Federation was to be its successor state. The Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, which regard their membership in the Soviet Union as an illegal occupation, chose not to participate. Georgia withdrew its membership in 2008. Ukraine ended its participation in CIS statutory bodies on May 19, 2018. Member states, Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Uzbekistan, Azerbaijan, Moldova, Tajikistan.